Our Jones. And I'm Jim McQueen, State Senator Tom Kane Jr. is the leader of the Republicans in the upper house. He wasn't all that thrilled with the content of speech, uh, Senator, uh, the, the content of the speech, but a state of the state is supposed to be an upbeat kind of, well, the newspapers called it a pep talk. Did you find anything peppy about it? Well, it's, the speech is supposed to talk about where we are as a state, a little bit about the past, but a lot about vision and where we need to go. And the governor didn't provide that at all. And uh, people in the state want real solutions. They need to understand that we are in the midst of an economic crisis, that we didn't get here overnight. And in fact, New Jersey was in this economic crisis for months, if not years, before the rest of the nation. And this is a unique New Jersey problem that we need to find unique New Jersey solutions to. Is it too. so unique with the country in the Kabuki well, like this? Well, if you look at the other states, our neighboring states, New York State in 2007 had a private sector job growth rate that was 12 times our rate. Massachusetts was eight times. Connecticut was seven times our rate of growth. Pennsylvania, six times our rate of growth. And the economists and Rutgers, Hughes and Seneca, said this is the decade of lost jobs in the state of New Jersey. And that's happened because John Corzine's policies haven't promoted economic growth and job creation and opportunity, but instead have continued uh, the tax and spend ways that have hurt the economy. And so if you look at the last year, for example, John Corzine's two big ideas was an 800% toll hike, and a pension deferral gimmick, both of which have aroused bipartisan opposition in the legislature that we, and we've beaten both back. Now, well, we, the Republicans have been offering solutions. We've been offering solutions that were ridiculed at first by the governor. The net operating loss change was a Republican proposal signed into law and trumpeted by the, the governor. The single sales factor trumpeted by the governor was a Republican proposal and it's also known as the, the throwout rule. Uh, if you look at the Lance Amendment, stopping future barring Republican proposal. Steve Sweeney and I working together on a bipartisan basis. Democratic Senate. Democratic South Majority Senate. Leader to wall off raids of the workers' funds, pension fund, unemployment insurance fund. These are things that have been raided in the past and Steve Sweeney and I and others on a bipartisan basis in the legislature have really led the way to focus on economic development and recovery efforts. Well, the governor said, hey, listen, there's no doubt about it. We're not in good shape, but we are far better than some other states. Maybe not our neighboring states, but, we're, we're, but we are far better than other states. All right, you've got between now and March before the governor comes up with the budget, and then you all are going to be knee deep into it, trying to figure out who gets what and what cuts are made. So what things are you looking at? Where are you focusing between well, now and that next well, address? The, the, the governor has said a lot of things. The governor has said we're better than other states, but we're the fourth worst deficit in the nation. But the governor said that he hadn't raised taxes in the last year, but just last year alone he extended a $62 million home energy tax that impacted every single ratepayer in the state, especially and impacting the middle class and making the state but more you, and more unaffordable. You, you're talking about how you want the governor so, to look forward, so, so I'm asking you, uh, looking okay. forward, what solutions and what are you going to be focusing on to offer well, to the, the people? These, these, well, the Republicans on their website, SenateNJ.com, have got a whole common sense plan for more affordable New Jersey that we've had on our website. It remains there. But this budget and, and priorities going forward are about priorities. The governor refuses to get rid of $62 million of political hires. At the exact same time, he's talking about cutting $11 million out of a program that helps development of disabled children. I mean, this is a governor that hasn't focused on the real solutions. The um, special programs that the governor has identified, or the governor's ignored, that have in one case tripled over the course of the last several years. The special cities aid, special municipal aid programs, which went from $50 million just a couple years ago, now it's up to $150 million in three short years. We need to get accountability. And the thing that will help all of us to find the real solutions is transparency in government. And Senator Joe Panaccio and I have been fighting and working on a bipartisan basis to have transparency in government so that everybody in the state can look at and say, where are the solutions, where are the savings? The governor said change is in the air. From a Republican standpoint, am I hearing campaign themes that we're going to be hearing as we move through in electing another governor, what well, you've just been talking well, about? It's, it's a shame that the governor engaged in partisanship in his state of the state address. So you what take it, you did, did you take it as an opening salvo to the, to the governor's it, race? It, it was an attempt. Mm -hmm. But what I think what we need to focus on and what people in the state want are solutions. How are we going to make sure that there are jobs created here? How are we going to ensure that our kids can afford higher education? in the state of the New Jersey? How can we ensure that the senior citizens can continue to live 
here. That's the priorities that the Republicans have identified, and I believe that we will see discussed not only in the course of our website, but going forward. Tom, before we go out, just a quick thing. As, as a son of a former governor, did you ever give any thought to be running for governor this time around with multiple candidates in there now? You passed on it. Why? Why? Well, I gave the, my word to my Senate, fellow Senate colleagues. I'd be a Senate Republican leader. I've also got uh, two young children at home that's very important. I spend a little bit extra time with them. All right. Senator Tom Kane Jr., thanks so Great. much for taking the time to talk to us.